Hi, my name's Harriet. Um, I am a senior lecturer in fashion at Leeds Beckett University and I'm also a PhD student focusing on sustainable fashion. So my project, or my PhD, is focusing on the future possibilities within post-consumer textile waste. Why am I looking at that? As you can see here, the statistics are pretty bleak. There are millions and millions of pounds worth of waste going to landfill in the UK alone. And this is only going to increase. So consumption is going to increase by 63% by 2020, which is the equivalent of around 500 billion t-shirts extra on top of everything else that we produce. But the reality of what it actually looks like isn't quite so clean as in the last image. It's really, really um, detrimental to our environment, as you can see. So this is what our waste ends up looking like. We do give to charity. We have got really great um, networks within our country to be able to deal with the waste, but that waste will keep coming and there is just not enough room for it. So the statistics again, we've got 57% of our waste going to landfill. So that's over half of what we produce and wear and buy goes straight into landfill and looks like this. We've got 25% is burnt. So it's going into our atmosphere and only 8% of items are reused and 10% are recycled. So we all know there's a problem we all try, hopefully, to consciously buy. Um, and we try to think about what we're buying and where we're buying it from. But the problem is that all clothing has got a sell-by date. So a lot of my clothing I buy from second-hand stores or pre-loved stores. So they've had a life before. I really, really do think about what I buy as a consumer and what kind of my footprint is on the world and where my clothes go. But what about when my clothes, like this jumpsuit today, is a second-hand store jumpsuit? So it's already had at least one life, maybe two. This may be its third life. It will get ripped. It may get a few buttons lost. It may get a stain on it. It's going to end where it can't be resold again. So what happens to those garments then? That is where my research is really centered, is the end of life for garments. So rather than it going to landfill, we can still use this fabric. So I have created a business called Ephra. So it's coming soon. It's under development at the moment, and I'm working with um, Leeds Beckett students from the graphic design um, course so as their level six project they are helping me to design the brand the website the instagram kind of the whole publication behind it as a community so as you'll see as i'm talking through ephra is a real community kind of spirited brand and it's all focused on post-consumer textile waste products so Everything and all of the designers, the producers that will be um, collaborating with this brand will be producing clothes from post-consumer waste. I will work with different brands that are doing this already and help brands that aren't doing it already to be able to do this and then put them on the platform, on the website as an Ephra brand. This means that we can also connect with customers that are looking for um, post-consumer waste or 100% recycled products and they can come to the same place. I find it really really difficult to find anything that is going to last a long time that has been used or been made sorry from post-consumer waste so any pre-loved textiles. It's very difficult because the brands are really really small that are producing these and they're really hard to find because they don't have a big internet footprint. So that's one of the reasons why I wanted to build this brand, is to bring them all together and give them a platform. So Ephra is a Middle English word. Uh, it means forever or everlasting. 
And the brand values are localized, personal um, and everlasting products. So we're really looking at that sustainability and the circularity of fashion. So that's why I think Ephra is a really good name. And from a brand um, business point of view, it's got a really, really low footprint on the internet. So those brands that are finding it really difficult to get seen on the internet, hopefully this, because there is no other brands or anything else really called Ephra, apart from if you search it, it just comes up with the, the meaning behind the word, then we should be seen on the internet. So I talked about the community part of it. WGSN, uh, one of the leading trend forecasting uh, companies, have predicted that sustainable design within fashion is not going to uh, be seen and it's not going to do very well unless we come together as a community. So because of that aspect of it, it's so hard to produce something sustainable, which is why it's just not really seen so much. There's so many researchers and so much research gone into sustainable fashion. We know how to change. We know what to do, but we can't do it because we're not getting anywhere on our own. So really bringing these people together and creating a, a place where um, designers and customers, consumers, and anyone else in between can all fit together within this brand. So how it's kind of going to work or how it's working is that I'm setting up a recycling center within Leeds Beckett University. So as a community, again, we're going to be bringing in our textiles, sorting them out, and then students and designers who um, are going to be working to create products for the EFRA brand will be able to access these textiles. Then they'll be able to access help from me. So as part of my research, I'll be able to guide them, help them in any way from pattern cutting to creation to promotion. Then we'll work on the visual merchandising together, again, to make that community, make sure that there is a really strong aesthetic running through the brand. And then the products will be sold on the website. So the designers will be receiving the income and they'll also be receiving traffic back to wherever their platform is and in turn we'll be educating the customers the community and hopefully we'll be able to read a wider audience so this is my website and my instagram when you look on it there's not much there at the moment but really do follow it stay with it be part of the community and if you want to be involved in it, get in touch, because although this isn't a massive global change, it will st start to trickle in, it'll start to build, and hopefully we will have an impact on the world within sustainable fashion. Thank you very much. <laughs>